Hey, welcome to my channel, guys. Today we're gonna to talk about the top seven craziest things that are quite common here in New Zealand. And you may be surprised how many of these I have actually done. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss this video. Here we go. If you don't know who I am, I have my family of six from the US to New Zealand and have been here for seven years and just sharing my experience. So if you like the content, please subscribe, click the like button because it really matters and it communicates to me whether you like this topic or you like these sort of videos. Also, if you are thinking about visiting or moving to New Zealand, definitely reach out to me because I have some amazing resources that will help you. But here we go, let's get into the seven crazy things that I think are awesome here in New Zealand. Now, just as a little bit of a disclaimer, there are these things in the US and other parts of the world as well, but I'm just talking about some of the things that are quite common here and can be a little bit more dangerous because of the landscape and that sort of thing. But let's just dive into it. So number seven, the craziest thing is Zorbing. If you haven't heard of Zorbing, it's basically you put a person in a giant inflatable ball and push them down a hill. That's what they do here for fun. Mm -hmm. Have I done it? No. Do I wanna do it? Yes. And here are some tips that other people have said to me. They're like, don't do the Zorbing with another person because sometimes you can do it with another person and then you're like all over each other and you're getting knees in your eyes and stuff. So there's a tip for that. I haven't done it, but I will be doing it alone when I do do it. So check out Zorbing. It's kind of a crazy thing here. Okay, number six, let's talk about cliff jumping. Now, I don't mean just like, this is an organized place where you're just, you know, they, it's already been figured out how deep the water is, it's safe, whatever. No, 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 no. They jump off of cliffs everywhere. New Zealand's so beautiful. You know, just Google it, images, unbelievable. There are lakes, rivers, little bodies of water all over the place that are so amazing that you just want to swim in. Now, as a side note, New Zealanders love to just swim all the time. They'll just be like on a hike. Oh, that looks nice. Let's take a dip. Driving a car, see a nice lake, want to take a dip. They're getting hot. Let's do it. And then it's just, it's just like they get in and then they get right back out. Like that is just not something that I grew up with and just our family just doesn't really do that. But it's so interesting that when people, when they're doing the cliff jumping, it's, it's not, it's in remote places. It's like, oh, this is a cool place. I think I'm going to climb up there. Oh, I'm going to go higher. I'm going to go higher and higher and I'm just gonna jump out. I don't know the fascination with going higher, and I'm just looking at it like, and they just kind of evaluating, is it deep enough? I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and this is like across the board, like all different friends, all different situations. People are always jumping off of cliffs, jumping off of wharfs. They love to jump off of things. <laughs> and so that's really good. And you could even jump off into like geothermal pools here, which, you know, each their own. So if you love cliff jumping or the idea of jumping off things, I'm telling you, New Zealand's a place for you. And number five, number five is hella skiing. Now that, that's not like a hella skiing, it's heli skiing, like helicopter skiing. Now skiing, snowboarding, winter sports, huge here in New Zealand. If you love that sort of thing, this is the place for you. But it's just, they can't just go on top of these huge, amazing mountains and go down, you know, trails that have been, you know, outlined. No, no, no. You can like hire a helicopter coming to take you and, and drop you into like fresh snow on the top of a mountain and ski down it. Now I have not done this. I have skied here in New Zealand, just on regular trails. I, I'm not a huge skier. It's not my favorite thing to do. I do enjoy it. The views are amazing and you should definitely do it if you're here in New Zealand, but like I'm not getting on a helicopter in it, but I have friends that have and it's a thing here. It's not uncommon if you really like skiing to be dropped in the middle of whole place and hopefully you can get down and it's like straight down. It's like, oh my gosh. Okay, number four, bungee jumping. Have I done bungee jumping? No. Has my kids done bungee jumping? Yes, as teenagers, like pretty young, like under 18. I think it was like 16 and 18 maybe they were. Um, but I was like, I mean, it was really hard for me to watch them, to be honest. And then my son just went, mm, no problem. My daughter screamed a little bit more, but I mean, I probably would have had a panic attack. 
I just, you know, if you think that it's exciting to jump off a cliff with a rubber band, do it. I believe bungee jumping was uh, created here in New Zealand, and so you can do it a lot of places. Even the tallest building in Auckland, the Sky Tower, you can do the Sky Tower jump and just jump out into the middle of the city on a rubber band. <laughs> and so, yeah, so I haven't done it. My kids have done it. Not sure I'll do it. We'll see. Number three, jet boating. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you know I have jet boated. I have jet boated in Queenstown and multiple times actually, and it's great. Uh, and I did scream the entire time. I'm not gonna lie, because what they're doing is they're taking a very fast boat and they're going like what I, what feels like as fast as this boat can possibly go. It looks like it's going to hit the side of a mountain and then it, at the last second it spins out and you're like, <sighs> so like it works if you close your eyes, but like it just like, is, and it's just, it's so fast. It's, I'm just wondering, it had to be a New Zealander that's just sitting one day. What if we just took a boat and we just went really fast through these canyons and and sell that? Like I just <laughs> like who comes up with this idea? If you if that sounds great, it's definitely something everything should try. It's not too scary. Your kids can do it, but it's just like, wow, we are going really fast and it really looks like we're gonna hit that mountain, but we don't. So check out jet boating. Number two. Let's talk mountain biking. Now I know mountain biking is a very popular thing all over the world, but it is, I just had to put it on this list because it's so significant. I have mountain biked. And let me tell you, what people do here, this, the, the height, the straight, the, the little tiny, tiny path <laughs> that you're going down and there's like drop off on both sides. It's not for me. <laughs> it's not for me. I've done it done it a couple times you know sometimes when you're biking you just get stuck in a more um mountain biking area so if you love mountain biking you're gonna have to try it here it's just what the reason why i added it because i think it feels quite dangerous <laughs> um i know people that do it all different crazy ways as well and they just there's no fear here i'm telling you no fear number one crazy thing in new zealand these are all crazy but like Canyoning is a big thing. I have been canyoning. I've also been canyoning in the US. It's very cool. It's like where you rappel down um, into a canyon and sometimes multiple waterfalls and then go for a hike. Uh, uh, also rafting, I'm gonna kind of add that as a big thing here. And I've obviously been rafting in the US and here, but man, it is, I haven't been rafting here, but I've heard it's quite exciting <laughs> for all of you thrill seekers. And so, yeah. So those are really cool, beautiful way to see different parts of New Zealand uh, as well. So check out canyoning and whitewater rafting. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video this week. Definitely comment below with any crazy things you've done in New Zealand, experiences, hopefully not, you know, hospital visits, but comment below or like, what are some things? I mean, there's other, there, I've looked at a lot of lists, I've thought about it. It's just that summertime here and everybody's out and doing things and it just kind of prompted my thoughts to think about some of the crazy things. So comment below what you've done. Definitely subscribe if you haven't and hit the like button if you like this video and I'll see you next week.